say good morning. I can call it that. Praising God, trying to get the Holy Spirit going on in my house. He's sick in the head, but do some of the silly things and just upset you you can't really get too mad because it's their kids you know but you tell somebody and you tell them over and over and over again not to do something or do it this way do it this way you know because you never know how much I'll give you an example my, my kids use up tissues and toilet paper like they're going out of style like they go to blow their nose one time, but they use like five tissues at the same time. We don't have that much toilet paper left. That is it. So praise be to God, hallelujah, so they use up all the tissues, they blow, they do only use one blow and put it in the trash instead of using it more than once, drives me nuts, so this morning my kids get, my one son has a pile of tip, toilet paper like this, and it's not even used. I just want to praise him. I do it one line church and because my son has autism, is autistic and they got my kids to where I don't leave my house and if I leave the house I gotta give them it's a hard it gives I have to have a hard it's a hard time for me to get the kids to leave the house because all they got is stuck in their head is play games all day long. I cannot wait till these people, I have justice, and I find justice so that my and my children's life can change. They isolated us so bad because I have a feeling they did this child insurance, life insurance shit, and claiming my kids that are dead so they can claim $100,000. $200,000. And if that's the case, they're scumbags. Because me and my children are quite alive. Stuck in Franklinville, New Jersey. You gotta take something off. What if someone travels around, travels half around the well world just for a dollar? Yeah, right? No, nobody would do that. It costs more than a dollar to, to go down the street. But truth has to be told. And if I, I, I've been trying to put the word out. Because, you know, I have a big target on my back. Because I was somebody and I did nothing wrong. And I had no record. And, you know, and then especially when you got people who can I even scheme against you losers okay now I got a lot of people going to South Carolina Myrtle Beach for vacations my my husband's aunt Arlene who helped steal my identity because she was our mail lady for over 20 years in this in this town Franklinville she owns a condo down there in Myrtle Beach okay her aunt Sandra his aunt, her, my husband's other aunt, her son got killed by a, a 
on her, his prom night by a um, drunk driver walking down 55 by a drunk driver on 55. Gabrielle, she's in the dentistry. Her son's a drug addict. She had uh, a drug addict died in her basement. Heroin, she overdosed. Heroin overdosed in her basement. Who does she live with? A heroin addict who's been clean for what? Nine years? Ten years? Who set me up in 2011. His wife supposedly died of a heroin o overdose. All right, well, church is getting ready to start. That's why we don't have I'm going to right? praise be to God. Now, I, I usually do church with Spirit Garage, too. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that one today because my pastor's not there. So I don't know who's there. Praise God. And to all students, we, we want to say to you, this is not just your parents' church. This is not just your grandparents' church or your older siblings' church or your friends' church. Christ Community Church is your church. We love you. We're here for you. We're, we're thankful for you. And you know what? We need you. And so this weekend, we, we want to just have a time of blessing where we, we are just so excited that you're here with us as we become passionate disciples of Jesus Christ who are belonging, growing, serving, and reaching together across all generations. So we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to ask you, if you're a student in middle school, high school, or college, to just have a seat right where you are, and everybody else remain standing. And if you're nearby, you're a friend or family member of one of these students, feel free to just put a, a, a hand on their shoulder, and, and everybody else just kind of reach out to a student near you. And we're just going to pray a, a prayer of blessing over students as they get ready to start a brand new school year this week. Let's pray together. Father, there is nobody besides you. There will never be anyone or anything like you. You are worthy of all our praise. Thank you, God, for these students. Thank you that they are loved by you. Thank you that they belong to this church. Thank you for the gifts and the calling that you have given each and every one of them. Bless them now, Father, with a deep sense of belonging. Open their eyes to see the fullness of your love for them. Give them a hunger and a thirst for you. Satisfy them in the deep places of their hearts with your glory and grace. Help them to feel at home here in your church. Let them know the love and the affection that we have for them and give them love and affection for your people in return. Throughout their life, may they always have a sense that the church is their family and that they are welcome here. Father, also keep each one of them growing in you. Renew their hearts and their minds by your word and shape them every day by your grace. Surround them with people who will challenge and encourage them as they walk with you. All right. Free them from the power Praise of God. the Lord. Cut through the lies of temptation. Make evil repulsive to them and make your goodness irresistible. Transform them from the inside out. So they look more like your son full of love and justice, holiness, humility, grace, and truth. And Father, empower them for serving. Empower them with gifts from your spirit. getting ready to go off. Us, your people, as we love the world around us. Give them compassion towards those who are in need. Praise God. Make them discontent with injustice and evil in the world. And give them courage to do whatever you ask. May the Lord give us forever. strength and courage to keep moving forward. Father, equip them for reaching. Praise you, Jesus. May peace come over my house and my children. In the name of Jesus. May the truth be told and I will let the whole world know what's going on in this lifetime with me. And something has to be done. Because I went looking and searching for help on change.org instead of learning how to voice my opinion. So I question everybody. Jesus' name we pray, man. Oh, look, oh, so cool. Look, they're young. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Peace. I have a lot of hope. Is in front of me and my kids. Amen.